Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to Wreath Wednesday. How's everybody doing? Come in, say hello to me, please. Hello. All right. So tonight I am going to, sorry, I have a mint in my mouth. I apologize. I thought I'd be done with it before now and I wasn't. Um, so I have a customer who bought a um, table swag that I did with the great big huge pumpkins from um, Hobby Lobby. Um, I did it a couple weeks ago. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for watching. I'm doing great, Rhea. How are you? And um, then she wanted me to do a small table center piece, um, tabletop piece, and I did that for her a couple weeks ago. You guys saw me do that one. It was in the little black and white check container. And now she wants one for her coffee table, so we're going to do that for her tonight. So I found this container um, when I was gone this weekend at uh, Carolina Pottery. And it, to me, it looks like it's got that leather look. And that's the kind of the theme. It had the, the um, leopard leathery look to it. So that's what we're going for. So this, I think, would make really nice. It's about 16 inches long. So this will make a nice little coffee uh, table centerpiece is what she's looking for. Hello, welcome. First time watcher. Thank you. Where are you from? Come in and say hello. Tell me where you're from if you're new. If um, When I get done here, I do go back afterwards and welcome everybody who came in and told me they were new. And we will get started. And I also have my new kit to show you. Um, I got everything in. Um, and I got picked up everything when I went to Sims uh, last week. And I'm going to be showing you that too. It's really cute, you guys. I worked hard on that one, so I'm excited to show it to you. But I'm going to go ahead and put my camera down and I'm going to start on this, okay? So if I miss it. So anyway, what I did, this is, I'm making a uh, coffee table uh, centerpiece for a customer. She's bought a couple of other pieces from me. I got this container from um, Carolina Pottery when I was there this weekend. And it's about 16 inches long. I put green foam inside of it and uh, glued it to the bottom. And I had to use two pieces because they were only a couple inches thick. So I put two on top and I put skewers in there to keep them together. That's all I did. If y'all have any trouble seeing anything, please let me know. I'm going to move you up a little bit there. <sighs> I forgot to put all my stuff back the way it was um, after last week when we did the, the live with Susan. So when I came up here, I had to rush and get everything back together. So... Hey, Susan. So anyway, like I was saying, I'm going to do, I'm going to show you all my new uh, wreath kit. So I got that all picked out and I've got everything um, together. I got it listed in my shop today. So if you want to see what it looks like, um, just go to wreathdecorbydawn.com and look for the new uh, gingerbread wreath kit. But I will be showing it to you here in a little bit. All right, so I got these little boxwood uh, picks at Hobby Lobby. They're normally $6.99. You get them 40% off. And we're going to use these to start our base. I don't need them very long. I have my glue pot over here to the side. It's already warmed up and ready to go. So how's everybody's doing? How's everybody's week going? I'm just going to put these in randomly. Just hit that share button. You should have a share button down at the bottom. And that's how you sprinkle the love. Or share. <laughs> and I am going in at a little bit of an angle with these. I'd really appreciate it if y'all could share this to your page. It'll also keep it on there for you if you ever want to go back and watch it again. Sometimes people want to see it again and or don't have the time to watch right now and like to see it later. If you just share it to your page, you'll be able to watch it whenever you want. So like I was saying in the beginning, this is for a repeat customer. She bought my um, big uh, pumpkin table swag that I made uh, a couple weeks ago. If you remember with those big um, plaid and um, leopard pumpkins from Hobby Lobby.
Yeah, if you're on a phone or a tablet, it's actually down in the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you all for joining me tonight. I hope the new people that were on here a minute ago that said hello will come back. I don't know what happened. We got cut off. I was moving my camera and all of a sudden you guys were gone. So I don't know if I hit something or we just got cut off. But it's all good. Hopefully they will find us again. Hey, Ann. Who else is on here? I saw Lisa's name. Hey, Lisa. No, it wasn't on your end. I think it was me. It was either my internet or I hit something when I was moving the camera. All right, so I just put six pieces because that's what was on that pick of these uh, boxwood greeneries. So we're just going to put those there. And then I'm going to take this was what we used in the other one. You got back on, I'm glad. Thank you for coming back, guys. I appreciate it, I really do. All right, so we're gonna use these. Um, I don't know what these are. If they don't put the names on them. Let me see if I can pull this tag off and look. It says something grass. So we went to the wreath retreat last week, came home on Sunday. Just says plastic grass. Well, that helps a lot, doesn't it? We had the best time, I'm telling you guys. It was so much fun. I've never laughed so much. I've never met nicer people. We had so much fun. I got to meet people that I've been following and watching for a couple of years now. So that was really neat. Sorry, I'm still trying to get rid of this mint. It's funny, I have a mint before I go live. Like, you people can actually smell my breath. Alright, so I cut this pick off. What I did was I just cut this off in the center. So this gives me two picks out of that. And I don't need the stems to be very long. But this is going to be a little bit long. The grass is going to be a little bit longer than that box would. So it'll give me that length. I'm just going to put this in. And then I'm going to bend the stem down. So that it hangs over. I could probably bend them before I put them in too. Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I am going to be showing you all my new wreath kit. I have a new gingerbread wreath kit. If y'all remember, I had you vote on signs uh, last week as to what sign you would like. And I actually got both signs because it was a 50-50 vote. So I thought I would just offer a choice of signs. Why not, right? So if you buy the wreath kit, you will get to pick which sign you want. Both kits come with the same ribbons and all of that. It'll just be the sign that's different. So I thought that would be nice to give you guys a choice like that. If anyone's interested in them. They are in my shop already. And I will put a link up for you here in one second. If it's still there because now that we got cut out. Hello Geraldine. Let me see if it'll do it. Maybe it will. It will. What do you know? So there's the link to the, the wreath kit if anyone's interested and wants to check it out now. But I am going to show it to you in a little bit here. <clears throat> but we had the best time. The weather wasn't the greatest. It was nice towards the end, but got a little chilly as before we left because we were at Myrtle Beach. First night we were there, we had thunderstorms, really bad, high wind. We had, that was the remnants of that hurricane that went through. Can't remember what her name was. But 
but it, we had a great time. Those ladies are so much fun. We had ladies and one gentleman. Mr. Carl was there. We had such a good time with him. All right. So there's the little filler grass that we're going to use for the base. And then I'm going to stick a couple right in the center just to take up that spot. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new, don't forget to say hello. Tell me where you're from. My description isn't there anymore because the live, the first time the I was on the live quit and I didn't get to put the description in the second time. I was just trying to get it back up so that y'all would be able to find me. But I do apologize for that. But if you want, he does deserve an award for putting up with all of us. <laughs> he was a good support. He had just as much fun as we did, though. I know he did. I could tell. Um, I think I'm going to cut this one, too. We did have a really good time, though. We got to go shopping at Carolina Pottery. We went... Um, what else did we do? Made a couple of wreath projects. We got to hang out, play some games. It was just a lot of fun. Hello from Mississippi. Welcome. I hope you are doing well. We did. It was an awesome time. I can't wait to do it again. I'm ready now. Let's do it. I know that Lori's not ready for it. She's the one that put it on, but... She needs a little rest, but she did an awesome job. It was great. Hey, Kathy. I know. I don't know what happened. I think I hit something and lost the live when I was trying to move my camera. <clears throat> All right. If y'all wouldn't mind sharing this for me, I'd really appreciate that. Let your friends know we're on. Maybe they'd like to come and watch. You can also save it to your page by sharing it. And um, watch it anytime you'd like. I think I'm going to wait on that. I'm not going to put any more of those in just yet. But I do like a couple of these. Um, let's see. This one is a... Um, Flocked, I guess, boxwood. This is an 18 inch boxwood. So it's a little bit bigger, but it's also got the frosted tips on or leaves on it. <clears throat> Thank you, Susan. I know she's wore out too. She was up and down those stairs like nobody's business, man. She was just. That girl does not sit down for a second. She's just go, 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 go. I got wore out just watching her. It's funny because she would say, I'm going to go get a, uh, something to drink. I'll be right back. She would be gone for hours. <laughs> she's a talker she likes to talk she likes to talk with people which is a good thing not a bad thing not saying it's a bad thing yeah your thighs I'll bet they are sore because they had even though they had an elevator the elevator was slower than molasses so we just took the stairs and I'm telling you <laughs> Hey, Carl. There's Carl. We were just talking about you. Yeah, it was. We got. We could get that. We could get to the floor we needed before the elevator could even open on the floor it was picking people up on. It was so slow. All right, so that's gonna cover the grass there. Now we'll go ahead and put in a couple of leaves. Not too many. And then the flowers is what she really wants. The flowers and the pumpkins. 
Oh, I'll bet they are. You girls were running too, Lisa. Lisa, Rachel, and Casey. Boy, they were helping out with stuff. And I'm telling you what, they were all over. I don't know how they, they did it. Oh, Kathy, you better. You need to come. It, we had so much fun. I Like I said earlier, I haven't laughed that much and I don't know how long. Some of the sweetest people you will ever meet. You know, sometimes when you meet people that you've been watching or whatever and they're not who you think they are or they don't seem to be who you thought they were. I'm telling you, every one of those people is exactly who you think they are. They're the sweetest, nicest people I've met. So I was really happy to see them. <clears throat> and we had quite a few newbies there, too. They were new to wreath making and that, so they had a lot of fun. Alright, so I'm trying to get that leave, the leaves in there. I'm going to do these at all different lengths. Yes, her name tag did say, Susan, if lost, look in the men's room. Because that's where she ended up most of the time. I think she was just being a peeper, but that's just me. I like to tease her about that. If y'all didn't hear the story about Susan when she was traveling through the airport, she went into the restroom and ended up going into the men's room instead of the ladies' room. So we thought that was kind of funny. But not once did she do it. She did it twice. That's why I think she's a creeper. She was creeping. Or peeping, that's what I should say. She was peeping. Alright, so I'm putting three of these leaves in. That's going to fill in those open spots on the bottom. Cover up that foam for me. You're a creeper. <laughs> You're a creeper and a peeper. I had so much fun with her, you guys. Oh, you thought it was fun watching her on my live last week. It was even better spending time with her the whole weekend. She's a sweetheart. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hush. Tell me to hush. You posted it on Facebook. It can't be a secret. All right. Um, I think I'm going to do one more. Just one more small one. Hey, Gail. How are you? Thank y'all so much for joining me. Make sure to give my page a like and a follow if you're new to my page. That way you can stay up to date with all of my lives and shenanigans. I go live every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern and Fridays at 2 p.m. Although the last couple Fridays I haven't been on because I've been gone. And I probably won't be on again this Friday either because I have stuff I need to take care of. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to use the flowers. And one of her requests was to have burgundy flowers. So I have some burgundy here that I had put in the other ones. And then also um, one of the things she liked was the white sunflower. So we're going to add that in. I have one of those left, and then I have an off-white. I might use those instead. Well, these aren't sunflowers, but they're, um, I think they're mums. No, dahlias. They look like mums. Anyway, but I do have those, so I might use those. And then she wants the... Um, the leopard pumpkins here and the black and white check pumpkins. 
So I have those that we're gonna add in as well. So. And then some burgundy velvet pumpkins too. So let me get these burgundy flowers real quick. Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Like I said, if you're new to my page, please give it a like and a follow. And if you would, for, um, thank Susan for helping me out. Give her page a like and a follow over at AC Inspired Wreaths. If you don't follow her, you really should. All right. So I'm going to take this. sunflower and we're going to put this in don't know if I'm going to use all these leaves the pumpkins came from Hobby Lobby they sold them in, in those little bags and they're the left they have the leopard ones that come by themselves those are in uh, they have different sizes in them then the black and white check come together in a bag. I don't know if they would have any more now, but they, at the beginning of the season, they had lots of them. And then they had the really big pumpkins, too. And that's what I made the first centerpiece out of that she bought. <clears throat> so let me see. I think I'm going to... On the other centerpiece, I put the uh, white sunflower at the end. On this one... I think I'm gonna set it in the middle. I really think I am. Let's see. Once I glue it, it's a, there for good, right? All right, so I'm gonna give it a little bend. Don't want it to be straight up and down. Then I'm gonna put these red, um, oh, I think they're peonies. I'm going to put these in as well. Uh, I'm going to leave the stems long, though. Yeah, I'm going to leave them long. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining me. If you're new, tell me where you're from. We like to welcome all of our newbies. Not that we don't welcome everyone, but we like to give you all a nice welcome when you come watch. So I'm going from corner to corner and putting these in. There's Mr. Bob. So I'm giving these flowers just a little bend. No, so they're not sticking straight, whoops, straight up. All right, let's see what else we've got here before I start adding any more. I've got a couple of these mums, and I love these little flowers here. These are mums as well. So I think I'm going to add some of those in. Since there's only three on here. We'll take these three off. And most of these florals came from Hobby Lobby. A couple came from Old Time Pottery and um, the Christmas Tree Store. Don't you love that? Yeah, that's one of her favorites, the, the woman that's uh, buying this piece. So this piece is already sold. Making this for a custom order. But I do have my wreath kit that I'm going to show you all here. I've got my gingerbread wreath kit up. <clears throat> it's um, on my page, or in my shop, I'm sorry, not on my page. And I will put the link up for you. There's the link to the kit if you'd like to see it, but I am going to show it to you all here in just a minute. <clears throat> sorry, i got to pull these up. I'm going to leave the green on them. These don't have to be as long. But... Thank you, Ty. Welcome. All 
I really like these um, mums as well. I like the color of them. They're kind of like a coffee color with a lot of cream in it. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. I do appreciate that. Hi, Sherry. How are you? So I'm going to add a, another one right here. All right, there we go. Let's see if the other side. I don't have, that was the third one. So let me see if I want to put, I like, really like these cream colored ones. So I might put those in. I am making a um, coffee table centerpiece for a customer. She bought um, a couple of other pieces from me that um, this one will match. So she wants a coffee uh, table piece now, so I'm making that for her. <clears throat> um, I think I'm gonna put this one on the other side. Thank you. I really like this container. To me, it looks like leather. I'm going to put one on the other side over here. What did I do with it? There it is. So y'all have any plans for the weekend? Um, as you know, or may not know, if you didn't see my page while I was gone, on Saturday my sisters flew in from California and surprised my mom. Tomorrow is her 75th birthday. So she, um, they came in the day uh, before I got home and surprised her. I will be doing a tutorial on the kit, yes. Um, it'll be either, um, it'll be by either on or before the 30th of this month. So that is uh, next Wednesday. So if I don't get it done before next Wednesday, I'll be doing it on next Wednesday's live. <clears throat> and I can show you the kit real quick here. Let's do that real quick so y'all can see those that are on. All right. So the kit is a gingerbread kit, and you're going to get your choice of, of signs. So here's the first one, and I had put up for y'all to vote on them, and the vote was split 50-50, so I thought, why not just get both and let y'all pick what you want? Whatever signs are left over, I'll just sell the signs and maybe some ribbon with them, because I won't have enough to do full kits. So this is the first one. It's red with the fresh baked cookies, and it's got the gingerbread on it. And then this is the second one, and it says Gingerbread Bakery, and it's got the red, white, and uh, green on it, and the gingerbreads. So you're going to get whichever one of those you choose. You're going to get two 10-yard rolls of mesh. This is a red and green. So you're going to get two full 10-yard rolls of this. You're going to get this cute little gingerbread, glitter gingerbread pick. It's got three little gingerbread on here. They can each be cut off. And you can use them on your wreath. And I'll be showing how, to, how I do that. You're also getting this cute little gingerbread as well to add to it. You're going to get two candy picks to go with it. Your frame and your chenille stems, of course. And then you're going to get your ribbons. Now you're going to get a full 10 yards of this gingerbread ribbon. 
It's got the natural background with the gingerbread man and woman on it. So you're getting a full roll of that. Then you're going to get five yards of this natural with the candy canes on it. It's got candy canes and the peppermints in red and green. And then you're going to get three yards of this red with the candy canes, which will be an accent for your bow. This will be for your bow, not your wreath. You're going to get five yards of the red and white stripe. And you're going to get five yards of the plaid, red and gold and natural plaid. And then, of course, your frame and all of that as well. The kits are $49, which for all of this is a really good price, plus shipping. And like I said, you get to choose which sign you prefer. All this comes with it no matter which sign you pick, though. So you're going to get all the same stuff here. The only choice you have to make is what sign you want. And those are listed in my shop. And there is a link right there for you. If anybody wants to go check it out, there's more details on it in my shop. So that is my gingerbread kit. I'm so excited. I can't wait to do it for you guys. Like I said, that will most likely be, if not before Wednesday, I'll do it on Wednesdays live. <clears throat> Let me get this stuff out of the way so I can keep doing my project here. I lost my little gingerbread man. Let me get him before I step on him. Because we don't want to step on the gingerbread man. All right, so now I'm going to put in... Let's see, where did I leave off? Um... I only need a couple more flowers to fill in. Let's try some of these mums. I like these mums. And I also have these big, um, let me see, these are also peonies, but these are really big peonies. I really like these purple ones, but those don't go with it, so. I'm going to use some of these little ones, though, to fill in some of these spots. So what do you guys think of the kit? And you can always go straight to uh, wreathdecorbydawn.com and check out any other stuff I have in my shop. I have a couple of... Um, uh, patriotic kits still in there as well. I just sold one of those this week. So I still got a couple more of those in my shop. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. I know some were asking me to do a Christmas uh, kit, so... I thought gingerbreads are, are pretty good, so that was a good one to do. And I was able to get some good thing, you know, good picks in that to put in it. So it's not just the, the mesh and the, you know, and the, the uh, ribbon. So you get a, you know, you're going to get some picks and stuff in there with it. So that's nice. And I love those glitter gingerbread men. Hey, Casey. If y'all wouldn't mind sharing this for me, I'd really appreciate it. I um, I was on earlier and ended the live by mistake, and I wasn't able to go back in and share it. So I'd really appreciate that. Thank you all so much. Still don't know how I ended up ending the live, but that's all right. We're back. That's all that counts. So I'm just using these little mums as fillers in some of the uh, empty spots. Then I'm going to put the pumpkins in. Thank you, Susan. Susan was with me when I picked it out. She can tell you what it was like for me to pick out my kit. I kept going back and forth on the ribbons. Thank you, Casey. 
I had it all mapped out before I went. I knew what I was going to get and what I was going to do. I had gone online, did my homework. But then when I got to the store, it was like, oh, there's so many of these ribbons. And I want to do this and I want to do that. So I kept changing it. I know she was probably getting sick of me asking her about my ribbon choices. She was trying to do her own stuff at the time, but I kept bugging her about mine. But we had so much fun. Who doesn't love shopping, right? All right, I'm gonna put a red one over here, or burgundy. So if y'all didn't get to see any of our pictures from the weekend, go and take a look at our page. Because we've both put pictures up from um, the retreat. Hey, Carla. Yes, a lot of thought went into it. <laughs> a lot. In other words, she's saying, I took way too long to do it. <laughs> More thought than probably should have. <laughs> She's just being kind, y'all. Right, Lisa? Mine too. I can shop till I drop. Just depends on what I'm shopping for, though. If it's groceries, forget it. I ain't, I ain't speaking that language. All right, so I want to put that there, and I'm going to put one more. See, this one looks fuller here, so i got to balance this out a little bit. I think I'm going to put one more of these in here. Yeah, I know what you meant. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. That one looks like it might need to be down more, but that's all right. We can always fix it later. All right, let me make sure. I'll put another one right here on the corner. Did I do what? Did y'all see the snowmen that we did last week, you guys? Weren't those adorable? We just tried to show you how you can both have the same thing and do two different projects with it. I don't know what is on this flower, but it's driving me crazy. Did I do, oh, um, on the patriotic one, did I do the cruffle? Yeah, the girls are, they're spending the night in Savannah. I'm sorry, I was telling that story earlier and I, I stopped t uh, telling it. They took my mom to Savannah to see my nephew who just moved there. Um, and they're going to be spending the night and coming back tomorrow. Tomorrow is her birthday, her 75th birthday. And then my daughter and grandkids are coming up on the weekend and we're going to celebrate her birthday. And my grandson's birthday is the, is the day after my mom's. So we're going to celebrate both their birthdays. And then my sisters go home on Monday. I think I want to add this in here. I only have one of them. I might as well. Um, on that, the um, patriotic one, you can do either the cruffle or the, the regular ruffle. There's instructions um, in the kit for both. But I can't remember off the top of my head which method I used on it. I sold the wreath, so I don't have it here to, to look at. I'd have to go back and look at the video, though. 
So yeah, they're staying in Savannah tonight. I saw they were out and about today. They had mom on her scooter. We had to replace the batteries in her scooter for her. So we got that taken care of yesterday. So she was excited about going down there. She loves Savannah. I took her a couple years ago. So she hasn't been back since. But now that my nephew lives there, hopefully we'll get to go more often. He just moved there last week. So, yeah, I like that one. I might take one of these out and put one over here, too. Let me see if I have another one. No, it's not the same color, but it's close. All right. I might add more greenery around the bottom. Yeah, you can do either method. Um, all my kits, I try to make it so that you can do either method, either the woodland ruffle or cruffle. Um, or the regular ruffle. And I give you instructions on doing both. All right, this one is a little too tall for me, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the head of it off. Maybe. If it'll let me. And instead of, because it's already glued in, I can't um, take it off at the end. I'm gonna take it off at the top. And then we'll put this back on. There we go. That's better. Now it's not as high. There we go. Okay. And I know it's a hard angle for you guys to see with my camera up ahead. So let me hold it for you this way. I'll move it over here so y'all can see it a little better. But those colors go perfectly with this container. All right, so now I'm gonna add in the pumpkins. So one of the pumpkins I used on the other one was this um, again. So we're gonna use that one. And then I was thinking I would use this one. It's a little different from the other ones I used on her other ones. She want, you know, we can make them just slightly different. She's okay with that. So I was thinking I might do that. Yeah, I don't. I have a smaller one here, but I think I like this one here. It's a flatter, fatter pumpkin. So I might put one at each end. And then I'm gonna add in some of the velvet uh, pumpkins and some of the, um, I'll put a black and white check one in so that'll go with the rest of them as well. Her only thing that she really wanted was the burgundy flowers and the pumpkins. She wanted the black and white check pumpkins and the leopard pumpkins. So, everything else was up to me. Oh, and the sunflower. She wanted the sunflower. So, I'm going to take this pumpkin here and we're going to go right down. Well, maybe. There, so that sits there nice, real nice there. I'm sorry if I'm missing any comments. I do go back after my lives and answer all the questions again. So if I miss anything, I will do that. And I also welcome anyone that's told me that they're new and where they're from. All right, this one I'm gonna put down at this end. Don't know that I need it that long. So I'm gonna take some of that off and I'm gonna put it in this corner right here. So nobody's doing anything this weekend. So that's what we're doing. We're having the birthday for my mom and my grandson and spending time with my sisters before they leave on Monday. The video of them surprising her was really funny. She called me a name because I knew and she didn't. And I have it on video for the world to see. 
and I'm going to remind her of that probably for the rest of her life. There we go. So there's the two pumpkins, one at each end. So we've got the tall one here, the fat one over here. All right. And now I'm going to do the little check ones and the leopard ones. So I like these leopard ones compared to these. I think these are just too big and too dark. So this is what I put in her other one. So I'm going to put these in this one. And then here are the burgundy ones. I'm going to use those as well. But I am going to put the black and white check in because that's what she wants. No problems. Don't worry about it. You saw the video? Yeah, you saw what she called me, right? My dear sweet mother, who we surprised and planned the surprise for her, and she called me a name. In front of the whole internet. Not like the first time she's called me that, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> just saying <laughs> um, I should, probably should have used a longer skewer on this one let me get my other skewers over here and see I might need a longer one on this because I want it to stick up a little bit let me take this out real quick That's okay. It was all in fun. All right. So with these little pumpkins, they have these little curly cute things on the top. You can actually pull them apart. You can't move them up or down, but you can open them up a little bit. And I like to do that because I don't like them all scrunched up. So see that? All right, let's go on this side and we'll put this one in here. I'm trying to bend it like it's a bendable stem. Sorry, I'm trying to get this in the right position. There we go. That's better. Okay, that'll work. There's one. It keeps falling over on me. Let's see what I did with the other one here. Let me tie this back up. I don't want these pumpkins falling all over the place. All right. It's getting hot in here. All right, and I'm trying to think. I think I'm going to do one more on this side. That will bring those two, that'll bring that plaid in to this one, this arrangement, to match the others. So she's got three pieces from me so far. This will make the fourth, or third. No, wait, one, two, three. Yeah. Can't remember how many she got. All right, one more. Yes, make sure to like and follow Susan's page as well. I'm also on YouTube. If anybody was on YouTube, 
check out my channel at um, Read the Core by Dawn over on YouTube. All of my videos that um, I make on here, I edit and put on there. So you'll find them in both places. We also have uh, Susan and Carla and I have a design group together called Team of Dreams Design Group. It is $14.99 a month. We meet twice a week um, for Zoom Lives. You do not have to be present for both if you don't want, but they are recorded for you to go back and watch at any time. And we just teach you our style of doing things. If you're interested in that, just type in the word group in the comments and I will send you a link to check it out with all the information after the live. And if you're interested in joining my email list, just type in the word email and I will send you a link to sign up for that and get notified every week when I go live. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to add in these pumpkins here. Yes, I will do the kit next week on my live if I don't do it before then. With my, I don't know what my schedule is going to be yet this week. I have a couple of appointments I have to take care of. And then my sisters are here until Monday, so I don't want to... Don't want to do that. All right, I am looking for my tape that I had that was sitting here. What did I do with it? Here it is, floral tape. So I need to make this stem longer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take one of these skewers and I'm going to tape it to the bottom of this pumpkin here so that I can make it longer. I could use my pick machine, but it's not good. That's not going to make it long enough for me. So we're just going to tape these on here with the floral tape. And they will hold on there with no problem. So yes, check out my kit if you're interested in those. Like I said, they're 49 plus shipping. And you do get a lot with that kit. You're getting enough ribbon to do your ribbon tails, your bow, and you're getting an accent ribbon for your bow as well as the gingerbread picks. And I will show that again towards the end of my live just for those that didn't get to see it before. All right, so there's what I did with that. I put that tape on there. Let me move over here so y'all can see it. And then that's gonna peek out just above the, see I don't need the thing that long, so I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. Put some glue on here. And then we're just gonna go right in between the flowers and put this pumpkin right in here. go. So there's that pumpkin there. Right here. So I'm going to do probably, um, let's, do, let's do two of those. Uh, let's see, we'll use this one at the bottom. I like the bigger size ones. I haven't gotten the snowman listed from last week yet, but I am I will as soon as I make sure I can have a box big enough to ship it in if it sells. Got to make sure I have a box. Can I hand you the snips? I will hand them to you. Yes, ma'am. Can you pass me a wire tie?
If y'all didn't see our live last week, you really need to go and watch it. Although I will say this, Susan and I watched it afterwards for a little bit. And it was even funnier with no sound and us narrating what we thought we were saying. Or making up what we were saying. That was hilarious. We were laughing so hard at that. That would have been better. All right, let me get rid of some of this stem on here and we're gonna put this one right down here. Let's see, that one's on that side, so we're gonna be on this side. Put a little bit of glue on my stick. Wire tie, wire tie, wire tie. That's all we talked about all weekend was wire ties. And what everyone thought a wire tie was. Because I'm telling you, no one else thought a wire tie was what she thought it was. Uh, one person. I take that back. There was one person there who said a wire tie was the zip tie. All right, so I'm going to take a couple of these burgundy ones now, and I'm going to put those in. But those, I think I'm going to do a big one and a small one. <clears throat> Let me get these over here. So all I'm doing is taking floral tape and wrapping it around the skewer and the pick, the end of the pick, pumpkin pick so that they stay together. Oh, I miss you too, honey. We had so much fun. I, it went by way too fast, I do know that. And we can't wait forever to get back together, that's for sure. <laughs> I can't wait that long. We did have a lot of fun. All right, so that one's on there. And I'm gonna do the other one really quick. And we'll be done. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. I do appreciate you being here. I appreciate y'all sharing for me and letting your friends know that we're on. And like I said, if you share this to your page, you can always go back and watch it over and over again if you'd like. And I will be doing the kit, um, hopefully, if not before Wednesday, on next Wednesday's live. So check out my gingerbread kit. There we go. That one's in there. All right, I'm going to put these, let's see, we'll put one right here. Got an open spot right here behind this flower. So I'm going to tuck this in there. And I'm pushing it down enough to where it's going to cover up where I put that tape, so you're not going to see that. There we go. There's that one. Whoops, almost lost it. And then this one will come down here and go right behind this flower. I can get it to go down in there. There it goes. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna take these pieces. These come on these picks. See these little branches right here? You can, uh, there's wire in them. And you can form them any way you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my dowel, straighten it out here, and I'm gonna wrap it around that. This is what I did on one of the other ones. 
So it makes that curly Q. See that? And then I'm going to add it to a skewer and tape it on there because they're too short to stick out of this arrangement. The other one I didn't have to do that, but this one I do. If I can get the tape to go on there. There we go. You what? Got in trouble with who? And where did you share it? How'd you get in trouble, Susan? All right, so there's that. So see, it just adds that, if I can get it off my finger now. So it just puts that stem on there for me so I can put that into my project here. This might be too long, we'll see. And then I'm just gonna put these right down into, yeah, there we go. And then they pop out just a little bit. So they just peek out. Can you see that? It's right here. So we're gonna put a couple of those in and then we'll be done. And then I'll show you guys the kit one more time before we go. So let me go ahead and get this on here. So I hope y'all are going to have some kind of fun this weekend. Do something exciting. Oh, on Facebook? That's weird. Just for sharing a link. Where were you sharing it to? On here, on the comments? They probably think you're spamming my live or something if you did it on here. I don't know. Facebook is weird. Oops. But I thank you for doing it. All right, so again, I'm gonna take this dowel and we're just gonna wrap this around it. I'm gonna start up here because this one's a little bit longer. So we're wrapping that around there, getting those bends in there, and then we'll just stick that into our arrangement. Whoa, that one went flying. It's okay. If they want any of my links, they can just type in that they want them and I'll send them to them. I have a link uh, for my email list and my supply list. So if you just type in email, I will send you the email uh, sign up. And if you want my supply list, type in the word supply and I will send you a link to, to where I buy my supplies. Because I don't want them to limit you being able to use your Facebook for that. Bunch of fuddy duddies. All right, so this is the last one. Then I'm going to show you my kit, and we are all done. And I will send her a picture of this and see how she likes it. And hopefully she will. If not, you'll see it listed in my shop. <laughs> and then I'll make her something else. All right, so once again, straighten that out. Start at the top and just wrap it around. You can wrap it as tight or as loose as you want. Doesn't matter. And I'm going to put this one on this side, coming out right here. So I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Put 
some glue on that. Thank you. And then we're gonna tuck this in here. Now I might have to go back in and put in a little bit more greenery to cover in some bare spots if you can see the foam through here, but that won't be much. So here we go. There's the container and then all the flowers. See that? All the way around. So that'll be a nice little coffee table piece. It's not high, so it's not going to be in anybody's line of vision or people talking. Anything like that. All right, so let me show you guys the kit one more time. If you weren't here at the beginning, I have a um, gingerbread kit that I put together. If you were on my um, Facebook page last week, I asked you to vote on a sign, and it was split 50-50. So I went ahead and bought, one, uh, bought each sign, one of each, sorry. So you can choose which sign you want for your kit. You get everything else is all the same, but the kit the sign is different. So here's the fresh baked cookies one. So you can choose from that sign or you can get the gingerbread bakery sign. So those you get to choose. Everything else will be the same no matter what kit which one you choose. You're going to get a full roll of the gingerbread ribbon on the net with the natural background and the red uh, edges so that's 10 yards then you're going to get i have to get it over here real quick sorry i pushed it all back there you're going to get 10 yards of the natural with the candy canes and the peppermints i'm sorry five yards five yards i think i said 10 you get five yards of this one and then you're going to get five yards of the red and white stripe with glitter. You're also going to get five yards of this plaid, which is the red, the natural, and the gold. Then you're going to get three yards of this one, which is for your bow. It's an accent ribbon for your bow. So this ribbon will give you enough to do tails and a bow. You're going to get two 10-yard rolls of mesh. That's enough to do 30 to 36 inch uh, ruffles. You're going to get a gingerbread ornament pick. You can make a pick out of this, but it's an ornament. Got those little fuzzies on here. You're going to get one of those. Then you're going to get two of these candy picks. And then you're going to get one of these glitter gingerbread. These are the most adorable things I have seen. There are three of them so they can all be pulled off and you can use them any way you want. I'll show you how I'm gonna use them when I do the wreath kit. Thank you, Kathy, I appreciate that. I worked really hard on this one. I was really excited to do this one and it took me a long time to pick everything that I wanted to use. But I got it done, so hopefully you all will enjoy it. Um, and like I said, they are listed in my shop already. They are $49 plus shipping. I tried my best to keep them under $50 for you. And with all of this, that's a really good price. Because all right, so that's it for me tonight, guys. I really do appreciate you all joining me. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, Susan, for helping me out. All right. And you all have a great night. Um, Excuse me. Enjoy your weekend, and as always, please be safe. Bye.